in the open series. Tonight we are doing 18.1, uh, which I talked about in the last video. It is a 20 minute AMRAP, eight toes to bar, uh, 10 dumbbell hang cleans, five on each arm, and a 12 calorie row for the women, 14 calorie for men. So uh, 15 minutes until my heat starts, and I'm still feeling a tad under the weather, but uh, we're just gonna friggin' go for it. So <laughs> Anthony is filming today, so we're about to go watch this workout. Let's do it! So, um, I definitely recommend going a little, you know, working up to it, like my coach said, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> two rounds really suck until the middle three, four is where I started getting the hang of it. Of the hang clean to overhead. Literally the hang of it. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, just hang on as much as you can. Do you know what I, bar. I started doing? Yes. I hooked hook gripped my dumbbell yeah. halfway through because my grip I was getting so heavy that I hook gripped it and it took yeah. that strain off of my right. forearm so that I was a good it. idea Danielle told me to hook grip it okay I did that and then I I probably could have went unbroken on the toes to bar but Ronnie was yelling at me to get off because he was like you're burning yourself out you're burning yourself out and I thought I was going too fast right. so I broke them up and then I realized I didn't need to do that so I just right. I don't know I got 275 reps rx 264. 264 RX, and I don't think I'm gonna redo that. I'm not gonna do it. Are we okay. gonna just pinky swear that we're not redoing it and we're just gonna be satisfied with our scores? I'll let you know Monday morning. Yeah, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the footage and on with the vlog. 
<laughs> Alright, so to finish out today's video, I have my coach again for another portion of the In the Open series. And so what Alex is going to talk to you guys today is about training throughout the Open, how you as a coach program my workouts like higher volume, lower volume, um, what you suggest people do to approach each week. And then if you know your strengths and weaknesses, how you apply that to the open workouts. Obviously we've only done one so far, so we're kind of referencing off of that. But um, like, how have you learned how to do that from being a coach? Um, I, d I definitely think it's a case-to-case a -case kind of scenario. Um, I think it's important for your coach to look at you as an athlete and try and within that relationship decide what your goals in that open is. Is the goal if, if the goal is to have fun and do as good as possible and create kind of a standard and a marker so that in the next 365 days next year we can try to beat it. Um, you can make the argument that one and done is the way to go throughout this so that you can continue to train. Um, just to give you a quick rundown of what a schedule might look like, if on Friday, most people like doing the, the workouts at like a Friday night lights mm -hmm. kind of event on Friday night. So if Friday was the was the open tester day for you, kind of run run uh, run ourselves into the ground. Monday would kind of be an active recovery. Sunday rest day. Then if we were doing one and done, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday could all be training days. Regular. Thursday rest day, regular training days where we're trying to progress and get better as an athlete throughout the open. Right. A Thursday rest day, and then we're right back to where we were on on Friday. Friday, which is how what I do pretty which much. Which is what you do, right. and that's what Amanda's going to do throughout the workout. Unless we feel like you know something just went wrong on Friday, and maybe we just messed it. Mallard curse. Yeah. <laughs> if we just f um, it up, yeah, do it again. Right. Um, also, you know, if Amanda or if you as an athlete um, and your coach decide that either you're trying to go as an individual or you're trying to be on a team or you, even if you're not going to be on the team, you have the possibility to contribute a score this week to your team score, which, right. which is a cool thing for people, people to be able to do, even if they're not going to be on the regional team. Um, it would change up, change up the week where Thursday workout gets released, Friday we test. Saturday active recovery, Sunday rest day, Monday we would retest, right, okay. Tuesday active recovery, Wednesday kind of work day, Thursday rest and then repeat on Friday. So you can see that, that by retesting, we've really killed two training days yes. in the week. Because so. you're not going to be able to hit that second attempt at the open workout with the same intensity if you're training with a full right. type of schedule right. you know like my regular programming i'm not going to be able to do a bunch of snatches and then go do that workout again it's right absolutely yeah so I, th I think it's important for people to understand that um if the goal is to have fun and do good redoing <laughs> reattempting have fun do good but to continue to get better it's really easy right. to, to digress your fitness if you're like continuing to retry 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 right. especially when we don't really have to right and i think that's also important to know like going into the open in general for people like what your fitness level is at and what you want to accomplish like personally absolutely because like i know i'm not going to regionals on a team so do i need to kill myself every single workout and be like oh i wasn't good enough and be super hard on myself and like probably a lot of people i feel like get injured doing that because they're like going past the intensity point that they typically would go past in a, sure. in a normal training session so evaluating like your priorities and like what the open means to you individually I think is really important too which is obviously something that you have to discuss with your coach too because you know I went to Alex after Saturday and I was like look I don't think that I could have went any harder on that row like I can't make up any more time so what's the purpose of me killing myself doing it again like not really anything so right. we just decided that 18.1 is going to kind of be a one and done but there might be another workout where it is a lot of my strengths like something with more gymnastics or more pull-ups or something where it might not kill me to redo it where I know that rowing is going to be like my all-out I'm going to be severely like dead at the end of the workout giving that everything I have yeah so. and it's also important for people to keep in mind um, a lot of people say I'm not sore, so I'm good. I'm gonna redo it. I'm yeah. not that sore. It's important to keep in mind what what you know, elevating your stressors and hitting these workouts at absolute intensity yes. does to your hormones and does to different types of um, you know just just releases in your body. And it's important to remember um, that the open each year is just five workouts. Last year it might have been a couple good workouts for you. This year might there might be a couple bad workouts for you, and it's really easy for us to get that to get caught up in the statistic and the number and link our self worth as an athlete and as a person with that number. 
Um, number one, five workouts cannot dictate the validity of a sport. So just because I have a bad open or you know I have a good open or Amanda has a good open or a bad open doesn't necessarily mean that that's the direction that we're headed in this sport. This year might be my worst open in seven years. Next year might be my best open in seven years. It's all in the luck of the draw. It's important to remember that. And number two, um, it's important unless you're the top 0.01 percent that are make that is making your living by being a right. competitive high level <laughs> CrossFitter or exerciser. Um, <laughs> it's important to remember that you are not just an athlete. And I, I, you know, you walk in the gym and it's fun to you know get geared up and train and have a coach that's like you know worried about what your score is going to be because we're you know we're competitive we're at, competitive level, at yeah. that we're competitive yeah it's, but it's important to remember that that you are more than just that and you can't allow your open performance to dictate other aspects of your life yes and not get caught up in like beating yourself down over what your score was compared to so and so like you're only if you're not like you said if you're not the top zero one percent of going to the crossfit games or this is your life you're not doing this for a living so why are you going to put your that type of stress in like it's fun it's supposed to be fun <laughs> that's what i always say with the open it should be fun it should be like a community thing it brings a lot of people together like yeah. they saw the gym footage right before this clip they're seeing the 18.1 footage oh, cool. and it's so cool yeah it was an awesome night it was so fun to yeah. see everybody together like doing the workouts together suffering together yeah, kind of yeah. like weird like that that we yeah, like to yeah. see everyone suffer Mask but kiss. yes but one of the things that we talked about um last weekend um we were talking about stressors and exercise and stressors in the rest of our life and what it takes to be an athlete no matter what level you're at and what it takes to continue to live your life um an easy little you know train of thought an easy little um easy little train of thought to go about uh every day you wake up with 100 pennies every single stressor every single piece of stress that's laid upon you takes away some change the bigger the stress the more change it takes the less stress the less change it takes but at the, at the beginning of the day you have 100 pennies uh, whether it's a good stressor or a bad stressor pennies are leaving right so if, if you know amanda had an awful day and she's have you know stressed out with clients stressed out with her home life stressed out with the dog stressed out with whatever it might be she walks into the gym and her tank is on 17 pennies and she's got a tough training day or she's got an open repeat or an open tester tonight it's going to show in that in that workout yeah. so it's important as coaches it's important as athletes to remember that we're not trying to get better and adapt in a vacuum that other things in life happen so if somebody walks in on a friday night and is like i love this workout it's such a good workout but i'm i'm feeling a little <laughs> fucked up today this happened this happened this happened this happened it's important for your coach and you really to to understand when to say, hey, buttercup, suck it up and let's make it happen. You're kind of being a bitch right now. <laughs> or, hey, this is a real concern. You had a lot of stress on your, uh, you, you had a lot of, uh, you had a lot of stress right. and you're not going to be able to, to dig in the way you can. Let's shut it down for today. Let's try again another day. And I think that second, uh, that second part is something that's looked over yes. a lot. Nobody, nobody wants to say, hey, the smart thing might be to shut it down and try again another for day. For sure. Brought my ass in here with bronchitis. You'd be like, First of all, get away from me. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, don't We're sit going through that right now. Yeah, we are. Like, yeah, kind yeah. of don't sit too yeah, close yeah. to me. No, I'm better now, I promise. Yeah. There, it's important as a coach to know like when to put the brakes on, especially as an athlete. Like, I'm not going to regional, so why do you care? Like, to look cool for who? Like, yeah, yeah, you already yeah. know how good you are. You already know how good the gym is. Why push people that don't need to be pushed like it's that? It's important so, to be smart. Yes. Yeah. Use your barnacle brains. That's what Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much.